Hey everybody, this is Brandon from Cat Intentions, and in today's video, I'm going to show you the difference between model space and layout space. Let me know in the comments what you want to see next, and don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Cheers! So in today's video, we're going to go over the difference and how to switch between model space and layout or paper space. Uh, for the most part, you're going to be doing your drawing in model space and layout slash paper space is going to be used to make uh, your plots or your sheets or drawings. Um, the way, the reason why this works really well is so that you can create a model once in model space or a site plan or a drawing, but show it uh, a, a bunch of different views of it in different sheets. This saves you from creating a new drawing for every sheet or uh, drawing you want to produce. Um, and it also just helps keep everything organized and you don't have uh, title blocks and logos and stuff in your drawing space. So for the most part, uh, only drawing elements, so lines, uh, labels for like property lines, uh, dimensions, that all goes into model space. And then in paper space or layout, uh, you're going to put things like title blocks, logos, uh, scale bars, north arrows, anything like that. Stuff that is drawing independent and doesn't need to be drawn uh, as part of your model. So to switch between the two, uh, you can type model space while in layout or paper space. So I'm going to type in model and hit enter and it's going to bring me to model space. Uh, and to get back, you can type in uh, layout and it's going to ask you uh, which one you want to use, um, set, and then enter layout to make current and it defaults to the last one I was in which is 11 by 17 to po or portrait and hit enter and it switches. Uh, I don't use the text commands that often. I typically will just click one of the tabs. So model is always going to be called model and that's where you're going to do your drawing. And a good rule of thumb is to always draw at one to one scale. So actual real world dimensions. Uh, you can scale using a viewport later, which uh, if you look up on the channel, I probably have a video um, showing scaling using viewports. And then to get back to paper space, simply click on it. Uh, you can click on the other one. You can change names of your viewports, which I like to do to keep them uh, organized. So we can call this one drawing one. And to change them, you simply double click inside, or you can right click on it and select rename. You can also delete them, move or copy them, uh, and create them from a template, which if you've bought my uh, title block templates at catintentions.com. Those will come preloaded like this one here does. To show your model space in, in a layout or paper space, you're gonna to need to create a viewport. And to do that, you can go to the layout tab, select rectangular, select the boundaries for your uh, viewport, and you've now created a window into your model space. You can have multiples of these, which I also have another video for. I'll look up multiple viewports, but I'll just do that quickly here to show you what I mean. So I'll copy that, CO to copy. And there we have two. So you can show two different views of the same drawing without affecting it. So you can show the overall and you can show just a couple sites. So there you go. That is the difference between model space and paper space. Uh, if you have any questions or you want to see another video in this uh, kind of area, leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. Cheers.